Scotty McCreary is here on 92.5 XTU. Boy, I'm coming over was a nice run. Dude, I'll tell you what, it was, it was a, a lot of fun doing that song and, and seeing it take a life of its own. So, for sure, pretty, pretty awesome. That's the highest you got on the charts. Yeah, top ten, man. It was yeah. pretty, pretty special for me, for sure. Now, I don't know anything in that world. So what does that mean for you as an artist? It's huge, man. Because oh, we've been working towards that for, for three years now, trying to break that barrier and try to really uh, get to the fans through that through that way. And uh, to see that, to see the evolution of the song, like the first few weeks you put it out and maybe only the front row singing it to you, and then about a years later, you know, a uh, year later, you know, the whole crowd singing it back to you. It's a pretty uh, pretty awesome feeling seeing that. That's good. I'm I'm so proud of you. That song came out of nowhere. It just ran right up the charts. Yes, it was sir, really man. good to see that awesome. happen for you. Definitely. Um, so the fans now, are they different than when you first came off of the television and off of American Idol? Like, are you seeing fans that have gotten to know you from non-TV experiences? Yeah, yeah, I'd say they're, they're better. You know, they've gotten the chance to know me more if they were with me from the beginning. And I feel like we've gotten a lot more as far as just uh, folks coming to the shows and, and seeing me out there or just hear me on the radio. You know, that's kind of how you got to get it in country music is through radio and through folks hearing your songs because uh, that's like the only way they get to know you. So it's uh, it's been fun to see that and, and meet more and more folks. You know, you see new faces every day, so it's cool. So now have you, uh, have you moved on from your little town? Like, you know, a couple years ago you went back to – to your high school and watch them play baseball in the playoffs and all that stuff. Like, yeah. do you still see those guys? Like, do you, or do you too busy for that? Now? I do, I do. I, I try and uh, I try and get back a, a good amount. You know, uh, some folks go on the road for four or five months at a time and don't stop, and that's just yeah, that's not me. I go out for a good amount of days and come home for maybe two or three, and then go out again. But I got to have some kind of break to see see my normal folk back home, my, my friends Which and does family. Does that keep you grounded? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I brought two friends out that I've known since I was two years old out here to Vegas. Ain't never been outside of North Carolina, so they're all bug-eyed walking around here. Just, really? Whoa, what, what is this? So, have you walked down the strip yet? We, we got in last night at 10, so it was a little late for uh, – for us, uh, ten o'clock, uh, Scotty. I know it's Vegas. Is not late in Vegas. In Vegas, but after a five-hour flight, after, you know, you. It, it was, you. our legs are gone. But you know, tonight we'll be out pretty late. We'll be out pretty late. That's awesome. <laughs> that is just awesome. Make sure you get out there on a the strip and check that out. Will do. Just, that's just crazy. Well, I am so excited for you. The world is wide open for somebody of your talent. And I appreciate it. It, it seems like you're, you, you've got the right people in the right spot for you. Thank you, man. Helping you out along the way. We're just out there having fun with it. Take, day by day, and we'll, we'll see where we end up. We're just going right. to keep on keeping on. All right. Keep a good head. Yes, sir. Scotty yes, sir. McCreary on 92.5 XTU.